Good morning students. How are you all? I hope everything is good at your end. So let's start of a new lesson that's all about vocabulary words. So here we have 10 new vocabulary words which we will learn today in this lesson. So what do you mean by poem? When you hear the word poem, what comes in your mind? Hmm, think about it. Yes, it's a piece of writing in which there are expression of feelings, sometimes involving rhyme, rhythm and imagery. Here I can give you an example of the poem, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So next word is poet. A person who writes poems like Shakespeare, John Milton, these two are the poet. If you remind in the previous slide, the word was poem. The one who write the poem, we call him or her the poet. Now, next word is rubbish. If you can see in the picture, everywhere there is a waste material. What do you mean by waste material? The material that you don't need and you throw it, we call it waste material. Next word is plaster. A small piece of sticky cloth or plastic that you use to cover and protect a cut in the skin. Normally we use this bandage when we have any injury in our hand or in our foot or any area of our body. The doctors and nurse, they used to put the bandage around the area which is injured. Yes, students, guess the picture. What's the word? Hmm. It seems like some medicines or what we call other word for medicine, pill. Normally when we are sick, we used to go to the doctor and then the doctor gave us the pills. Why he gave us the pills? So that we can recover fast. Oh, look at the picture. What's that? It seems like the food is spoiled. What do you think, students? What can be the word? Hmm, yes. The word is rot. And what is the meaning of rot? Decay of cause to decay by the action of bacteria and fungi. Hmm, what's this? It seems like an apple. But which part of apple is this? Hmm, let, let us think. Come on, let us think together. What can be the word? Hmm, I guess... You have learned this word in your chapter 3 also. Come on, think about it. Yes, the word is core. The word is core. And the core means the tough central part of an apple containing the seeds. Yes, students. Next word is scrap. Now, what is the meaning of scrap? If you can see in the picture... Hmm, in the picture you can see there's a lot of things, seems like vegetables, the leftover part of the things. So let's have a look on the meaning of the word. A small piece or amount of something, especially, hmm, especially one that is left over after the greater part has been used. If you can see that there is a core. Remember the word core that we have learned in the previous slide? The central part of an apple? Yes, I can see here the core of an apple and some layers of the onion and some pieces of lettuce. Yes, these are all called scraps. Yes, next word is pile. If you can look at the picture, you can see there are a lot of books, one on top of the other. And if we look at the meaning of the pile, it means that the things, one on top of the other. 
or if I want to use this word in a sentence, I can say that I have to check a pile of copy books. Oh, what's that? It's so scary. Mm, what do you think? What, what can be the word? What this picture depicts? Yes, the word is gigantic. What do you mean by gigantic? Gigantic means of very great size or extent. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and understand the meaning of the vocabulary words. Have a good day.